from the Tribune News Network. This is News Break. I'm Kirk Smith. No worries about that weather system passing to the south of us. What was Tropical Storm Fred now downgraded to depression status? It will generate some rain and wind in parts of the central and southeastern Bahamas as it passes. The projected track keeps it to the south of us, though. It's not expected to be a major problem. With the first of the Pfizer vaccine donated by the U.S. now here, Prime Minister Minnis believes we're in a good position in the vaccination effort against the coronavirus. Along with the doses we will receive, the vaccine supply we already received and other doses on the way over the next weeks and months. We will have the capacity to vaccinate all Bahamians and residents who wish to receive the vaccine. And this will in time lessen the likelihood that we will have a large-scale surge that caused extremely high hospitalization. Health officials continue to monitor the numbers, looking for some sign that we've reached a peak. 96 more confirmed cases reported for Tuesday, most of them in the capital. The hospital numbers are still on the high side, more than 130 persons still being treated, 16 in the intensive care unit. Two more persons have died from the virus, both in the capital. The official total is now 310. This is news break from the Tribune News Network. National Security Minister Dames tells the media people are going to extremes to avoid following the coronavirus recommended protocols like this. The authorities would have gotten main information where people are actually renting homes and having large parties. And uh, in order to evade the authority, they will have someone who may be responsible for valeting the cars and taking them in, uh, out of sight to give the impression as if uh, nothing is happening at, at a particular residence. The government has announced that Olympic gold medalists Shonday Miller Uwebo and Steve Gardner will each get $40,000 for winning in Tokyo. Police asking for help from the public in their investigation into that Elizabeth Estates double shooting incident from yesterday. It left a man dead, another in hospital. The debate continues on who owns the companies that got the COVID 19 contracts from the government. So far, nothing's been cleared up. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's overnight IQ weather update brought to you by Bahamas Power and Light BPL. Weather associated with our tropical system in the area through tomorrow. Hardly cloudy tonight. Showers around overnight lows in the upper 70s and low 80s. 78 at Freeport, 81 in the capital, 78 at Matthew Town. Voters advised to exercise caution. There could be high winds in the area from time to time from that system. Low tide now, the next high around midnight. Friday's forecast, partly cloudy, rain in the area, highs in the upper 80s. Your weather update brought to you by Bahamas Power and Light, BPL. Through all severe weather situations, they will be there by your side. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. Do you want to increase your sales? Then advertise your business in the Tribune, the leading newspaper in circulation. Reach the market that will keep your registers ringing. Give your business the maximum exposure at an affordable investment. Advertise in our Home Buyer's Guide, Insight, Women, or Obituary sections. Let us help you get your business to the Bahamas and to the world with our online advertising spots. Professional advertising reps are waiting to offer you advertising packages to suit your budget. And consultations are free. The Tribune, your answer to increased sales. Call our sales department today, 502-2394, or visit us on Shirley Street. The Tribune, the people's paper, biggest and best. World News headlines. U.S. officials say they believe Afghanistan will fall under Taliban control within 90 days. That as the militant group takes control of more cities since the U.S. withdrawal of troops from that country. More wildfires are breaking out. The latest European country to be hit is Italy. Major fires burning there now. Major concern growing in the U.S. as new coronavirus cases continue to increase. Australia now putting some lockdowns in place to control new outbreaks there. Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section on TV tonight. There's always the ever-present soccer. Major League Baseball is on TV tonight. There's a special game. Jazz and the Marlins on the way home from the West Coast. They open a series at home against the Cubs tomorrow night. There is some golf on TV also, and be sure to get the Tribune Sports Friday for coverage of the return of the Olympic Games team. 
for all of your sports details. You want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. 